a lust for revenge? Hey, Moon Capitan. I got a favor to ask. Starting today, we're gonna collect some new materials. That's right, it's God Ark Overhaul time. Basically, every Fenrir branch has all kinds of ownerless, unattuned God Arcs just sort of lying around. Most of them want to be in the action, so they require a special touch to keep them dormant. I'm talking materials, man. But of course, you're 95% awesome by volume, so the items on your shopping list are a little more challenging. You know, sometimes I just browse the God Ark database. <laughs> I find user preferences, uh, fascinating. So, uh, I got a question for you. When you gaze upon a God Ark, tell me, where do your eyes fall? So young. Yeah, that's an important element when it comes to winning fights. So let me do a little rephrasing. What part do you think is most attractive? You know, to an engineer. Ah, oh, the chest. Oh, Captain, you are indeed a connoisseur. You see, it's the curve of the spine, the toned muscle of the back of the blade that truly gives it such power. Specialized strengths. People get so hung up on the edge. It's flashy and it's sharp, but without support, without support, that blade is nothing. The finest god eaters, the truly great, do see things with a different eye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Do any other parts draw your gaze? Entrancing? Now, there is a place that I am rather fond of. Oh, I spent many an hour musing on it. Legs! <laughs> oh, Captain, you are most discerning. Like, like uh, a sommelier of God Ark vintages. The parts that join the flesh of God Ark, that uh, make it a God Ark, those little connections that facilitate transformation. In the early days of God Arks, uh, we're talking like classics. The way the legs were constructed was critical. And now, with all the new type god arcs, <laughs> nothing beats a fine set of legs. Do any other parts draw your game? Trance you? Now there is a place that I am rather fond of. Oh, I spent many an hour musing on it. Hey, hey, Mon Capitan. It's almost time to go. What are you two chatting about, huh? Having fun? Just discussing the merits of anatomy. You know, the chest, the legs, that sort of thing. Oh, so young. You're still focused on that level. I miss those halcyon days. Wait, what? <laughs> so very, very young. I was once like you. The only thoughts in my head were of bust lines and leggings. Ah, oh, things were simpler then. And I am man enough to admit that I was once so easily led astray. But all of that, my little apprentices of appraising uh, ness is a thing of the past. Really? Well, what are you into now, Haru? Come on, man, you gotta tell me. The neck. The neck? The neck! The end of a god arc's handle. The one people so crudely toss away as though it's nothing. The grip! This name. 
That's right, little brother. The neck is where everything comes together. Or perhaps it is where everything begins. It's thickness, length, subtle curves. Yes, these alone determine the beauty of an entire silhouette against a moonlit night. Of course, of course. How can I have been so blind? Yet now, it's as if the sky is open above and the purifying rain falls. <laughs> <laughs> Don't beat yourself up, kid. It's a long road to maturity. Good thing you've got me to guide you on the way. You've taken yet another step on your quest, on your journey towards the Grail. What an auspicious omen to begin a mission! Commencing field transmission. Everyone ready? Yeah, let's go. Really though, the god arcs are a handful, aren't they? They are. You gotta give them a lot of attention, they get all sulky and start acting up. Then again, that's part of what makes them worth it. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Do I detect a Casanova in the making? There's hope for you yet, Gil. What are you going on? What else?
to expire. the anniversary of Kate's death. Hey, you're right. Three, three years, moment. You might have already realized this, but one of the God Arcs on the overhaul list this time was Kate's. Her God Arc was made in Glasgow, so we may need rare parts that are hard to find in the Far East. Her God Arc's pretty demanding. Sounds just like her, right? You're definitely one to talk. Sure yours doesn't take after you? Let's do this! I can help. I'm sure of it. Hold on. I'm here. Haru, what's eating you, man? I'm not used to seeing you without a grin on your face. Hmm? Oh, sorry, it's... It's nothing. Just some bad memories is all. Kate had something to tell me that day. The day she... She died. We were up early that morning and she said she wanted to talk. You ready to head out? Sure. Hey, Haru? Yeah? Well, it's nothing. I wanted to talk to you about something. It's kind of important, but it could take a while. Let's wait. Come on, sweetheart. If you want something from Haru, just let me know. <laughs> well, just shut up! Although, I guess if you really wanted to give me something, I might accept a gift. I don't know, something shiny? Maybe a ring? Sure, sure. Girls like pretty things. I guess I'll look around and see what I can find. Well, best get to work. Monsters to slay. We'll talk later. Yeah, later. Have a good day. Then she left us all. <laughs> she died before we ever had a chance to talk like that again. But I never knew what she'd say. It's no good dragging it up now, you know. But it's one of those things... When I remember, it all seems so unfinished. That reminds me. What? It was a while before that day, but I'd heard Kate was running around meeting with someone. Something about it struck a chord. I asked her about it once, but I couldn't get anything out of her. She just put on that Kate smile. Haru can't know yet. It's gonna be a big surprise. She grinned. And why did you wait all this time to tell me? I'm sorry, man. Saying anything about Kate has been tough. We both miss her. But time passes, things happen, and here we are. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Gil. I get you. For a while, it was hard to talk to you. The memories came flooding back. Anyway, I shouldn't have dredged it all up. Come on, let's head home. God Arc and Vitals are both strong. Counting on you to work hard today, too. Alright, we'll get started now. The link support device is online and spreading through the region. First level will be a maximum of the time to finish this fight.
I went through all my myriad sources and did my best to trace Kate's footsteps. I think I found where she was headed. There was a house in Section C-15 of Glasgow's outer ghetto. She went there a few times in the month before she... Seems like you know a lot about this, Teru. Every branch has a database. It tracks the GPS of every God Eater's armlet at all times, so it wasn't tough to track down. I mean, it's not that big an invasion of privacy. 
It's basically only used when someone goes missing in the field. What? <laughs> That's... C come on. I made sure not to leave any trace. Promise. I, I think. I hope. The house is registered to one Darren Daglish. Apparently, he was a single male, 49 years of age. Then... Oh, crazy. Apparently, he was an ANCS researcher. Fascinating. I know I've heard that name before. Mm. Can you find a way to get in touch with him? Apparently, he transferred out this way about two years ago. He lives in Satellite 002 as of last month. Did he? So, uh, wacky coincidence, right? The same satellite base just pinged us with a request for God Eater aid. Apparently, there's a huge origami targeting the place. I mean, it doesn't have to be you guys. Another team can handle it, I'm sure. No rush, no worries. Fine. Let's go. Blood Alpha, the first time to an end. 
can help. I'm sure of it. I can help. I'm sure of it. <laughs> you know, you're almost more trouble than you're worth. Hello? Sorry to bug you. We're from the Far East branch. Can we come in? Oh, I've been expecting you. Sorry for the lack of hospitality. I don't get many guests. Are you serious? Professor Double D, is it really you? Hmm? Well, bless my stars. Haru, Haru, my boy. Uh, you two know each other? Definitely. He was my tutor back at the Glasgow branch. I can't believe you didn't know him, Gil. It's great to see you, Professor. This day turned out to be a surprise. I never thought I'd find you out here. You may consider me rather astounded as well. This certainly is a wonder. My, how you've grown. Quite the formidable young man, I must say. Oh, pardon. Come, sit. <laughs> you can't blame me. All the other teachers called you Professor Double D, too. How was I supposed to remember your real name? <laughs> you may look a man, but you're still just a foolish boy at heart. How cruel of you. <laughs> Not at all like Kate was. Oh, that actually reminds me. I was kind of curious. What was Kate coming to you about? You know, at the end. Ah, poor child. She had decided that she wished to teach. That is, once she retired from God-eating. She wanted my advice. I could definitely see that. I told her I ran my school less like a prison and more like a home. But she wanted to be very prepared. She wanted the hows and the whys. How do I get more students? How do I deal with overprotective parents? Why do we teach this way and uh, do they enjoy it? She had thousands, uh, perhaps millions of questions for me. <laughs> of course she did. Of course she did. Unfortunately, news was slow to reach me. It must have been six months after that I finally heard. What a loss, so young, so hopeful. I'm sorry I couldn't attend the funeral. She deserved every honor they could grant. Don't be. It was a beautiful ceremony. After she passed, her dream stuck with me. I decided that the best way to honor her was to make it come true. The satellite bases have been suffering a teacher shortage for years. I knew this was where I should begin. That's why you came out here, to teach a new generation. Yes, in so many words. Though I admit I'm not as spry as I once was, the kids are so excitable. <laughs> Actually, I remember her saying that she wished you would join her when you left the field. A team of God-eaters becoming a team of teachers. Of course. She had all sorts of plans for my future, didn't she? I'd love nothing more than to make her happy. But my God Ark and I have still got plenty left to do on the battlefield. I still remember the exact words, believe it or not. Haru's a fighter, but when he's with children, he's so gentle. He is kind, understanding, and patient. Simply the perfect teacher. <sighs> Kate. It's been three years since I've heard her voice, and she can still shatter me like glass and piece me back together.
Captain Haruomi, watch your health. You can't be so reckless. You still seem okay. That means you should hit him harder. Kills resonance way to shock the everyone's attack. The God Ark overhauls are in the bag. <laughs> Thanks for all the help, Captain. Seriously, you made this way easy. Oh, I don't know, kid. I might be done for here. I'll try for the summit in the morning. Ah, good call. You are getting up there. Shut it, Teru. He does have a point, man. You've had one hell of a career. Maybe it's time you thought about putting away the giant sword. <laughs> Time really flies. I blink my eyes and suddenly Teru's lifting pints with us. And holding it together quite well after two or three? The last three years seemed like an age of mankind and just a moment ago. That's what happens, I guess. The world sort of moves on. Have you thought at all about what Kate said? I mean, she has a point. You'd make a hell of a teacher, Haru. Nah, man, not yet. I've still got some fight left in these old bones. I can't quit yet. Not until my holy quest has come to its final riveting conclusion. There's a lot more to learn before I pass it on. Jeez, Haru! No, but seriously. No one serves this long. Most God Eaters would do anything to be out of the field. I'm still worried about you. Maybe there'd be something good in hanging up the old God Ark. Finally settling down. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to babysit some mini God Eaters that don't know which end of the Ark to hold. Although... Although... It's probably pretty uncool for a guy to ignore his lady's final request. Especially if the lady's at all like Kate, huh, Gil? <laughs> yeah, I think you're onto something there, Haru. She gets to me, even now. <laughs> Looks like Haru's got a new dream, boys. Hey, uh, one quick question. Anything. I'm on a new path in life. Got big goals. All I really remember about school is trying to pick up girls. I'm not 100% sure what the hell we were supposed to be doing the rest of the time. <laughs> 